I think that uh, currently the therapeutic paradigm in multiple myeloma is uh, changing more and more. In particular, we are going towards uh, a complete uh, new approach to the frontline uh, treatment. The frontline patients in multiple myeloma will be treated with the daratumumab-based approach, and this will be the new backbone of treatment in transplant ineligible, but also in transplant eligible, according to new presented clinical trials. And I think that we are moving forward uh, a change also in the treatment of relapsed refractory multiple myeloma patients, in particular considering other combinations, because we have to reintroduce Introduce uh, uh, other agents, uh, considering uh, that uh, all relapsed refractory patients will be previously treated with the monoclonal antibodies, and that's why we will uh, go toward uh, a new approach with uh, belantamab, carfilzomib, ixazomib, and moreover, I think that pomalidomide-based regimens are going to change the current relapsed refractory setting. Moreover, novel agents such as belantamab. And Selinexor are showing their power in uh, evenly treated patients. And I think that uh, the combinations with these agents are really exciting about uh, the results, but also about the tolerability of our patients. Uh, in particular, we have seen that the toxicities uh, are not so severe and that. Uh, uh, treatment with this new approach can be really manageable. Moreover, I think that we are uh, going toward uh, a new era in which CAR T and uh, B specific antibodies uh, are reality and not only a dream. And we are going to see in our uh, daily clinical practice uh, these uh, new opportunities. And I think that the road to the cure of multiple myeloma is not only a dream, but is uh, going to become reality thanks to these uh, fantastic results from the last research in multiple myeloma.